So the first thing we're going to do is apply a base. Now I'm going to be using three bases out of my Cryolin Shimmer Vision palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dark blue. Now any blue base will do, okay? So if you have a different blue base or a different cream shadow, feel free to use that. I'm just using this because this is what I have. And the only other blue base I have is NYX's Baby Blue and it's not as dark and I wanted a nice dark blue base. Okay, the next color that I'm going to use for base is the um, hot pink color. Any hot pink or pink base will do. And I'm just going to go right up with that. And I'm going to take it just a bit above crease, but not all the way to the eyebrow. Next, since I'm already into this palette, I'm going to use the white shade. And where I'm going to place that is right on the inner corner. Now I know this seems like an awful lot of base, but it really helps hold your colors good for this look. So once we get that done, I'm just going to flip the brush around and just blend a little bit between the blue and the white base over here. Not a whole lot though, because like I said before, you're putting shadows over top. Next thing I want to do is go into my 88 matte palette, and I want to choose this deep blue, navy blue shade right here. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid except for the white bases. So everywhere you put the blue base, you're going to put this navy blue color. And again, any navy blue will work. And I'm just going to pat that on good. Now you want to make sure you pat it in really really nice because you want it to um, be packed on there good and you don't want fallout so you're just going to pat it in there gently till you get and you can build on the color so you're just going to keep building till you get the navy blue that you want after we finish that we're going to go right back into the same palette and we're going to choose this black shade right here and I'm go with that I'm just going to put a nice thin line into my crease but I'm going to build the line up And actually, you won't even see the black when I'm done. I'm just doing it to um, so that our pink will get a bit of a purpley shade in the crease. After that, I'm just going to take a normal crease brush, and I'm going back in with that same black. And I'm just going to go on my outer V, just very gently. And then I'm going to take a blending brush, which, by the way, I got the oil out of it. Yay! And I'm just going to blend that right up. Once we finish that, I want to use a hot pink or fuchsia shade, and I'm going to be using Ben Nye's Azalea. I'm going to take a crease brush, and I'm going to apply that all over the black and up. And what that's going to do is the black is going to take on a purple tone, because when you mix black and pink, what happens? You get purple. And then when you're adding the, um, when you build it up, then you're going to have like hot pink above the purpley shade. When we complete that, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that 88 palette and we're going to choose the white shade up in this corner and just put the white right there on that. And then you're just going to take the brush that you applied the blue with and just kind of work on blending that. And you're just going to kind of go back and forth between brushes until you have it all nicely and well blended. So whenever you're satisfied is when, you know, when you're done. General rule of blending, like I always say, is blend twice as long as you think you should. And I'm just going to take a blending brush because I don't like that. And um, so there we go. Now I want to take NYX's Jumbo Pencil and Milk. And I'm just going to put a few dots. Sorry for the kitten. On my brow bone. And I am just going to blend that a little. But not a lot, because you don't want to smear everything you've just done. And I want to go back into the 88 palette, and I want to choose this second pink shade down. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to sweep it right across my brow bone. And then, what I've been, a technique that I've been showing you a lot lately for blending, sometimes with your highlight color, because sometimes you get a harsh line there, is just going back and forth between the two brushes. And that if so if you're having trouble blending or there's something, doing that will help to make sure it's completely soften the line and completely blend it out and just give you a, a graduation of color. 
I'm sorry if I don't see myself today. I have a killer headache, and yeah, I'm just... Talking hurts my head. <laughs> but anyway, then I want to take a black gel liner, and I'm using the one that I got from Aura Line, but any black liner would do. And I'm just going to draw along my upper lashes. And I only want to come down to about right here, right around the beginning of where the white starts. You don't want to go all the way down into the white. You just want to stay right up in this general area. Going all the way around can sometimes make your eyes look smaller and with all these dark colors I just don't want to go all the way around today. If you can hear that, it's my stomach growling. I think it might be time to eat. I just realized I haven't eaten anything today. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish filming this first. I'm surprised that kitten isn't still and Then we're just gonna wing it out a little and then follow our line back in and then just fill in Make sure we're even with our other side. And then I'm just going to take it and go underneath my eye. I want to make sure I don't have excess product though because you know what it's like when you get a big blob of black under your eye. And I'm just going to go underneath. And I got a big blob of black anyway. Hey, I'm on a roll today. Is that good? <laughs> no. Okay, but we'll fix that with our shadows anyway. That's no biggie. That'll all blend out. So then, now that we've got this done, and we only came, again, to about the same spot, I'll show you with the brush, to about the same spot on our lower lids as we did on our upper lashes, just because we want to leave that area free of black liner. So that whole inner corner is free of black liner. Now I want to go back in with a white base, and I'm going to, again, use that white shade in the Kryolan palette, but any white base will do. And I'm going to just go right in here in my inner corner, and right underneath the inner corner right here. I'm just going to pop that in there a little bit. Now I'm going to just take my finger and just gently tap that just so that it's any excess is removed. And I'm going to go back into the 88 matte palette and I'm going to choose the white shade right here. And I'm just going to go back where I put the white on the upper lashes and just follow where I put the um, white base just now. Just Tapping it in there gently. And then we're going to take the brush that we applied the blue with, and we're just going to go underneath the rest of our eye, over as far as the white, but not into the white. And then we're going to take our crease brush that we applied the um, fuchsia with, and we're just going to go right on top of that blue, just kind of to make it, uh, you know, to mix them up. And then I'm going to use NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. and go right along my waterline. And once we've got that all done, then I'm going to use um, Prestige's My Biggest Lashes Mascara. And I'm just going to apply three coats of that. How I usually do it is two, three, two coats to, my, to all of my lashes and a third coat just to the outer. And this is our final look. I really hope you like it. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.